Making your own homemade granola gives you the control to add the ingredients you like. Plus, it just tastes better. Today, I'm making breakfast parfaits and an almond cranberry granola my way. Hey guys, I'm Shereen with Cook This. So first to get started on our homemade granola, we have to melt some honey and sugar. So basically, we're melting the sugar. So this is what makes this granola sweet and stick together and toast beautifully because we're gonna put it into the oven. Okay, so a little trick when you're measuring out honey, if you take a non-stick cooking spray and actually spray the me measuring cup, it should come out a little easier for you. All right, so we have the honey, so about two-thirds cup honey, some dark brown sugar. So now I just have it on a medium heat, and we're just gonna keep stirring it until all the sugar dissolves. Pinch of salt, brings everything together. It sort of wakes up all that sweetness. All right, so while our sugar is slowly melting, I'm just gonna dice some dried apricots. Okay, so in my granola, I like to add some dried fruit. So here I have some dried apricots. I'm gonna add some cranberries, but because the apricots are a little large, I want them to be, I wanna cut them into little small bite-sized pieces. You could add whatever dried fruits you like. If you don't care for dried fruits, don't add them. So our honey sugar mixture is looking good. You don't want it to come to a boil. So I'm sort of melting the sugar while I'm working on my apricots, <laughs> multitasking. So this is great to be able to make your own granola. That way you know what's in it. You can add whatever you like. You could add nuts. I like to add old fashioned oatmeal. I just love the texture that you get after it's toasted. All right, now to toss all the ingredients together. So I have some old fashioned oats. So I love to use the old fashioned oats because they get a really great texture. Some roasted salted sunflower seeds. You really don't know they're there, but you taste this little earthiness from here and from time to time. I love that. Some salted sliced almonds, love almonds. Again, you could use any nut that you love. Use pistachios, walnuts, whatever. This is your granola, customize it your own way. I have some dried cranberries. So I like to add color to mine. So we have cranberries and our apricot, so it makes it really pretty and it gives it that extra concentrated sweetness. So I'm just gonna toss this all together and then add our honey sugar mixture. Toss that together and then put it into a 300 degree oven to let it toast. And this is what makes the granola so delicious. This honey and brown sugar. And don't worry, I know it seems like there's a lot of honey, there's a lot of sugar. This is still really, really healthy. There's a lot of granola. It makes a lot of granola. So you just want to toss it with two rubber spatulas. So the key here is to evenly incorporate every single bit of the granola so it's nice and hydrated and gets that little stickiness from the sugar. All right, now we're just gonna spread it out evenly so it evenly toasts. So the granola has come out of the oven, so we tossed it halfway through, and what that did was it allowed all that honey and sugar to evenly combine and incorporate all the oats. And then you just wanna let it sit, toss it periodically, and then as it starts to cool, you just wanna break it apart. So I love these little clusters that you get. It's my favorite part of the granola. All right, this is so good. It's crunchy. Mmm, so delicious. You can almost taste that little earthiness from the sunflower seeds when you have that concentrated 
extra sweetness from the dried fruits. So here's what I love to do with the granola. My husband Andreas puts it in a bowl and puts milk over it and eats it like cereal. I know that's so weird and strange. He loves that. I feel like, aren't you losing the crunch that way? He loves it. I like to make little parfaits. So for breakfast, a healthy way to just sort of spruce up your granola, spruce up your yogurt. Here I have some vanilla yogurt. This is actually a skier, which is high in protein. It's a thickened cream. So now you just start layering your glass. This is fun for the kids. They'll love this too. Take your granola, put that in there. So we're creating like a trifled effect. Some more yogurt or skier. <laughs> And if you haven't had this, you will see it in your grocery store and uh, Blackberry Overboard. <laughs> I'm sure Coco will get that. You'll find it in your grocery store along with all the other yogurts. Give it a try, it's really good. Okay. Seriously, look how pretty this is. I think Andreas will love Love having it this way. This is a great treat. Midnight snack, come on, it's healthy. Add some berries on top. That is so pretty. Love it. All right, so let's give it a taste. So I want a little bit of everything. So we have the texture from the granola. We have the freshness from the berries. And of course that creamy goodness from our skier. Mmm. I do love this granola. So good. You get the chewiness from the dried fruits. For this recipe, go to the newspaper's website. And thanks for joining me today. From my kitchen to yours. Happy cooking. See you next time.